YouTube. I'm back with yet another video. Uh, this is going to be the third part to the Red Dead Redemption Let's Play series. Now, in the last video, it was kind of short, and I'm going to try and keep it that way because it seemed to be doing very well. I watched the video before I uploaded it, and it was, it seemed to be a pretty good video. So, uh, let's see how this video turns out, and, um, before we get started, uh, please don't forget that if you enjoyed this video, to give it a big thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button, and after doing so, uh, please hit that big notification bell to get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Sorry, I'm really nervous right now. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I am, so please do excuse that. Let's ride. Come on. And I will um ride there. You know what, this is kind of a long way, so I'm going to cut it. Alright guys, so we are approaching the mission, so let's continue where we left off. Try to keep this video as short as possible. Whoa. Try to read out as many anywhere? mission names no. as I can. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. Come on. about this. Not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. So let's go find him then. Don't you have any you brothers can't just or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Who's that over there? Gee up! Quick as you can! Stay with me! Daddy! What happened? 
and nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now. Fetch well, wagon. we found them. Martian, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Wonder where all those bodies came from. Please stay close. Huh. Idiot. Let's what go. What could have happened to those poor men? And the horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad ends good. You're upset. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire. Uh-oh. We gotta save the horses. I gotta hurry up and get this video recorded. It's starting to um, storm pretty bad. horses. We did it. That was a rough one. You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, ho hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. 
It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. to the next mission and I'll see you guys there. Okay? Let's continue with the next mission. Come on. That was a long ride out to Armadillo. Come on. This mission is called Hanging I'm Bonnie McFarlane. Right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. This is we'll going to be interesting. Find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? She hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! So he thinks Mr. it's me Marshall. that did it. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> That'll be your next lucky mare. This is gonna Even be better. interesting. Good day, Mr. McFarlane. We gotta get save her horse, before boy. they get oh, to shoot. her. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! It's a nice girl you got there. Get out from there. You know... Part of me's got the thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. Wrong. I don't like the this. Sound is of a this is a land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their oh. anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. Yeah, it's getting boy, it's pretty bad outside, outside, outside my yeah. place right now. What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. I gotta Mr. speed McFarland, this up. I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. We will. We will, Mr. McFarland. We will do everything we can to save her. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Let's go. Come on. Let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the king of diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in cheap clothing, all of them, rob you. Then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. Fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand boy. Wait, Marshal! 
I'll be back for you. Those standards have slipped. We already built you with slave ones. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Double we win. gotta get to Lonely her God before they do. Place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. No popular spot for lynching, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. Uh, they saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. I just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable. Different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, this is a long him long ride. If I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Just look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. I'll kill all three of you myself, I swear! somebody and I don't know what I'm trying to get at but they're so loud about it you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town keep your eyes open I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair fair my ass you bet besides Norm here is gonna be my shield ain't you Norm <laughs> it'd be my pleasure John you lead Deke into town and make the exchange I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. Why don't you save some of that breath for breathing? Get these ropes off of me, boys! Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Oh, let's get him, boys! This isn't how I play. Stay with me! Cover yourself! What do you think you're playing at?
Again and you're all dead. That's the best you can do. Get away from her. Don't you lay up. Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself oh, by making yeah. a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> I think I'm gonna leave this video here because honestly it's starting to get really nasty outside and I don't want to keep this stuff on for much longer um, but if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button and if you want to get notified every time I upload a brand new video please smack that notification bell as it would be greatly appreciated and help me grow my channel. But until then, I'm Cerebral Palsy Gamer 98, and I'll see you in the next video. One more thing before I go, I have a live stream coming out tonight that will essentially be the channel trailer, and I will tell you a lot about myself, and I will answer any questions that you guys would like to know. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace.